On the Valley Isle, efforts to restore coral damaged by a grounded yacht kicked off this week. Both the State Department of Land and Natural Resources and the Maui Ocean Center Marine Institute have sent out dive teams. KITV Forest Jeremy Lee now joins us. And Jeremy, with the wild weather conditions, time was of the essence. Absolutely, Mika. For those helping with recovery efforts in the wake of the marooned yacht now removed from Honolulu Bay, the last thing they wanted to see was extensive, lasting damage to the reef. Fortunately, cutting-edge efforts were quickly underway to rehabilitate damaged coral colonies. There is a lot of damage down there at the moment. While going out there, um, there is some obvious coral damage. Uh, obviously, straight from shore, it goes back maybe about 100 feet uh, where the boat was dragged. Um, and in that path, there is some rubble, um, some coral fragments, and large coral colonies. When the yacht went down, it may have marked the end of part of the story. But back where it was towed off the reef, debris and broken coral littered the vicinity. The best thing we can do is get into the water right away and reattach those big old corals because that is the reproductive efforts for the future of that reef area to get those things stabilized, to glue them back down and prevent them from, from dying. Time was of the essence for dive teams from both DLNR and the Maui Ocean Center Marine Institute. In Honolulu Bay, near 200 coral fragments have been collected to be nurtured in the Marine Institute's land-based coral lab. We'll actually microfrag the coral and they'll be placed on plugs or plates for the duration of their time with us. In that time, we can actually grow them quicker than if we were to kind of just grow the coral on its own, which is what would happen naturally out in the ocean. Um, by using the microfragging process, we're actually able to grow it about 40% faster. The smaller pieces will undergo a longer rehab process and be reattached in six to eight months, whereas the four to five larger colonies will be attached with temporary zip ties and epoxy until it cures. Hawaii, much like Australia, is on the forefront in the field of coral restoration. The biggest thing we wanted to do was kind of get whatever frags we could up onto our kayak and out of the water. All with good reason. A lot of our coastal roads, a lot of our coastal infrastructure, our HECO power plants, our runways at the airport, all of these things are protected from storm surge by coral reefs. And as we lose that, those waves start coming right up on shore, they start taking out that infrastructure and we start losing houses, we start losing roads, and that's a real problem. Amazing what they can do to prevent that. A representative from Maui Ocean Center Marine Institute told KITV4, once the swell passes, the effort will begin to reattach those larger coral colonies. Teams will continue to collect residual fragments. Reporting live, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.